21 states sending out stimulus checks. I have all the details and the full list for you right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, even though right now it feels like they're sending out no money and offering zero financial assistance, that's actually not totally true. In fact, there are 21 states out there right now that are sending out stimulus checks on the state level, and that's the list that I want to talk through with you right here in this video. However, don't get me wrong, I completely understand that we need far more assistance right now than what is being offered on the state level. However, nonetheless, there is still billions and billions of dollars going out to millions of Americans all across the country, and that's what I want to focus on here in the video, and hopefully you are located in one of those states sending out all this money, and you can grab your share of the pie. So let's get into it and talk through the full list and all the details that you need to know. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you every single day, doing all the research, breaking all this information down into these short videos, and watching all the new information as it's hitting the wire every single day, especially right now as we continue to get all these new announcements coming out of the administration, the president, lawmakers, and Congress, including all the new bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to benefits, as well as raises to benefits, and anything else out there right now in regards to money, checks, programs, stimulus, or anything else like that. Of course, I'm watching everything very, very closely and bringing you those latest updates right here in these videos. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And I'll continue to be here for you every single day as I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can. And I am very much dedicated to you and this community. All right. Thanks again. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so. And let's get into it and talk about all the details you need to understand and the full list of the 21 states out there right now sending out checks again to millions and millions of Americans all across the country. All right. So a few things that I want to point out really quickly before we get into the list here. So a few things that we need to understand. On the state level, in many of these instances, the dollar amounts is going to be different across the entire country. For example, some states out there are sending out $125 that's not very much. Some states are sending out 175, 200, 300, 400, 750, even up to $800 in some instances. So depending on the state that you're located in, of course, the dollar amount is going to be different. Now, again, depending on which state you're located in, the eligibility requirements are also going to be different. But here's what I can tell you. In all of these instances, there are income thresholds. Now, most of the time, the income thresholds are about $75,000 for an individual and about $150,000 as a married couple. And again, it could fluctuate a little bit from there, but these are generally the income thresholds because these were the, uh, the same income thresholds for all the stimulus checks that we received over the last uh, couple years here, since early 2020, late 2020, and early 2021. In fact, the income thresholds were a little bit different than that, but generally that is what the income thresholds were for the last stimulus check that we received out of the federal government of $1,400. So, that's what a lot of these states have also uh, implemented into their stimulus checks as well. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that it's going to be different for everybody across the country. And now I completely understand this much as well, is that everybody here in the community is not necessarily going to be included in these checks on the state level, simply because... Of course, obviously, there's 50 states out there, a few different territories and districts, things like this, and all of them have a different program. Some offer zero. Some of them are offering absolutely nothing. In fact, there's, what, 29 states out there that are offering absolutely nothing, right? So again, a little bit more than half of the states out there are offering nothing to the residents, but at least 21 of them are offering something. Now, something else I want to point out to you as well. In some instances, in fact, most of these instances, in order to get the check, you may need to file a tax return on the state level. Now, again, stick with me here for just a second because here's what it comes down to. I know that many of you here in the community are fixed income beneficiaries. Maybe you're low income, whatever your circumstances may be. The fact of the matter is, I do know that a lot of people here in the community do not file tax returns simply because your, your income is low enough, right? So therefore, you don't file a tax return on the state level or on the federal level. Well, as a result of that, in some instances here, out the states, you might need to file a tax return. And again, I want to point this out for you really fast here. This is not accounting advice. This is not tax advice. This is not advice in any way, shape, or form. I do not know your situation. Everybody's situation is very different. However, I do want to point this out to you. If your state is for say, let's just say example, is offering $500 stimulus check in the event that you filed a tax return. 
it might be to your best interest to file a tax return on the state level just so you can grab that money, right? Even if your income is below the levels that you need to file a tax return, it might still be worth it to file a simple tax return on your state level just so that you can grab the money. And again, I don't know your situation. Every situation is uh, different for every person. The state uh, that you're located in is going to be a different situation. Again, there's a lot of moving parts here. That's what's really nice about the stimulus checks that came out of the federal government. It was just basically a one size fits all approach across all the states, all the districts, all the territories, everything was the exact same for everybody across the board. So you could have been located in Washington state. You could have been located in California. You could have been located in Texas, Maine, uh, Florida. You could have been located in Georgia or Idaho. Literally, it does not matter. All of the parameters for the federal stimulus checks were the exact same. So that was really nice about it, right? But here's the problem. Across the entire country right now, across all these 21 states, literally the parameters on every single state is different. The dollar amount is different. The eligibility is different. The requirements are different. How much you can get per person or per, per household, per married couple is different. So that's what's kind of tough about this. So I do want to bring you that list here in this video, but here's what I want to encourage you to do. Do some extra research on this on your state level. And again, I could always come back and make a dedicated video talking about all the specific details of every single state. I'm gonna be real with you right now. That would be like either an, a one video that would be probably an hour long talking about all the different parameters, or it could be broken up into several different videos that would all also be very, very long. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody really wants to hear that, okay? There's a lot of different details here. All that I can encourage you to do is just do a little bit of research on your own. If your state comes up on the list, take like five minutes out, go on the internet and just search your state out and see what you need to do to claim that money on your state level. I think that'd be the best approach for everybody here to just do that because honestly, you probably don't wanna see me come back in five videos talking about four states each, 20, 25 minutes per video, talking about all the specific details out of every single state. Um, I'm just guessing the vast majority of people probably here don't wanna see that, right? So I'm just simply saying the best approach might be to just do a little bit of research on your own or maybe talk to somebody in your state. If you have a friend, a family member, um, an acquaintance, a neighbor, somebody else like this, if they know some information about it, or maybe the two of you or the three of you or however many of you uh, in your location can maybe kind of team up together and say, let's all kind of tackle this together. Let's all do our own independent research. Let's reconvene in three days from now and let's kind of compare facts and see what we've come up with, right? That might be a good approach as well. Just like a research project in school. Oh, group projects. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I don't like group projects. <laughs> it, bring, it brings me back to school. I don't like school projects and I did not like group projects at all. Um, that was not a fun time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it just makes me think back to thinking, oh, everybody gets a little bit of assignment and you're supposed to research something specific. Anyway, do that if you want to. But again, this might be a little bit more fun than one of those dreaded school projects. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, uh, this might be an, uh, an acceptable approach. But again, this is what's going on right now. So with that being said, again, I kind of want to lay the groundwork for you because there are a ton of moving parts here. This one is not cut and dry like the federal stimulus checks that we received, the three of them since early 2020 into 2021. It's not cut and dry like that. There's a lot of moving parts here. So all I can recommend is just do a little bit of your own research, but I wanna make sure that you grab as much money as you possibly can right now because there's still a lot of money out there. In fact, these these states out there right now are sitting on billions and billions of dollars uh, from the federal government. Here's what also is interesting about it. I would be willing to bet that going forward over the next I don't know, year, year and a half from now, I'd be willing to bet there's gonna be a lot more states stepping up with more stimulus checks going out as well as universal basic income programs and or uh, guaranteed basic income programs on the state level. Why do I think this? Because these states are sitting on billions and billions of dollars right now and they have to spend it within the rules of the $350 billion that all these states got, they have to spend it by the end of the year of 2024. If they don't, guess what they have to do? They have to give it back to the federal government. Do you think they're gonna give it back to the federal government? I don't think so, not a chance. Maybe like one state out there might give a little tiny bit back, but honestly, I don't think a single state is gonna give any of that money back because here's the deal. The rules are spend the money or give it back. Well, if somebody handed you $5 billion and they said, here's the deal, you get two and a half years to spend the money. Are you gonna spend it or are you gonna give it back? I'm not sure about you, but I could find a way to spend that money. I'm pretty sure I could find a way, right? <laughs> I don't know what I would do, but I know for a fact I could find a way to spend the money. And I guarantee you that's what the states are gonna do as well. So just remember, they have that timeline, the end of the year, 2024. So we still got a couple years here to go. Uh, well, actually not even that long, right? 
But the fact of the matter is, this is what they have to do. All right, so anyway, sorry, this got a little bit out of hand here. Got a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be short and sweet, and again, I got trilling off on talking about something else again. I apologize, but seriously, there's so many different aspects of this whole thing. Um, I just want you to be aware of everything going on. Anyway, I truly want to help you out as much as I possibly can. Get as much money as you can right now. I know it's incredibly tight. I want to help you grab as much as you can with all these different programs. So with that being said, I'm going to bring my wife in, Corey. Many of you here on the channel know her. She's going to come in and read this list to me. She's not going to read the specific details about each indiv indiv uh, sorry, individual state, but rather what she is going to do is read the list of states. If you're located in one of the states or one of the areas that she lists out in this uh, short video here, Please do a little bit of your own independent research and see what you got to do to claim the check on your own state level, okay? So with that being said, enough out of me. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. That's my dedication and my commitment. So subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos going forward. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends, family, social media, especially if you're located in one of those states that's going to be listed on this list here that Corey will read to us. And then, of course, go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. All right, thanks again. Corey, take it away, and I'll catch you again later in the next video. All right, Corey, it's all you. Alaska, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, Oregon, South Carolina, Vermont, and Virginia.